up, guys? Pat here with Red Sun Rising. We're at the uh, Bottom Lounge here in Chicago, Illinois. And I'm here to show you my kit. Uh, I've been using this kit since I joined the band. It's been about three years. Um, it's a 2004 DW Collector Series kit. So it's a little bit older, but uh, it's, really, it's really got a nice punchy sound. The toms are a little bit smaller than you, you would expect for a big rock band sound. It's a 12 by 9 inch high tom here. And a 14 by 16 inch floor tom, which is a little bit more shallow than usual, but they just really have a nice punchy, clicky sound, and they really cut the mix. They really tune low, kind of growly. Um, and then I have a DW Titanium six and a half by 14 snare. It's really got a lot of crack to it. I absolutely love this snare. And then I use the 30 strand snares in the bottom to really give you that snap. Um, the kick drum is just a pretty standard size. 16 by 22. It's a maple kit. I'm actually not exactly sure what the ply the plies are, but just a standard maple kit. And uh, it's starting to fall apart a little bit on me, actually. You know, it's been on the road for three years. So if you look down here, I have some like gaff tape because the, uh, the the wood hoop broke on that. Like, there's a lot of little things that I'm I'm having to uh, Frankenstein together. But the kit doesn't want to give up yet, so I'm just gonna keep keep taking it out until she falls apart. I use Remo heads. I use clear emperors on all the toms for the top heads. Clear ambassadors in the bottoms. And then I absolutely love the Remo controlled sound coated reverse dot snare head. I've tried a lot of other heads and I just always end up going back to this. I've been using it for probably like six or seven years. And then just a standard ambassador hazy bottom head for that. We accidentally bought a 22 inch control town kick head. I usually get the Power Stroke 3, but my sound guy and I absolutely love yeah. it, so now yeah. I just made the switch to the controlled sound, which is kind of cool. Total accident, but it just it sounds great. Symbols, right? Yeah, I've been, been in Zildjian for a while. Um, I, I've kind of stayed with the same setup for quite a long time. I've got some 15-inch light high hats here, which is really nice, nice, perfect wash and click sound. I just added this to my setup. They just came out with the uh, Sweet Crash series. It's got an unfinished bell, which I love. Um, this is a 20-inch Sweet Crash. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out a few more of these symbols that just released these. 22 inch K Dark Medium Ride. Really nice balanced symbol. I, I crash ride it a lot, so it's got a, a nice balance between the crash ride and the ping. And the bell that still cuts really nicely. 20 inch A Custom Crash. That's my main crash. I'm riding on this for most of the night, most big courses on here. And then I have an 18 inch A Custom VFX that I kind of use like an accent crash. Almost like a, it's almost like a, tastier version of a China symbol. It's just the trashier version of a, of a standard crash symbol. So that's, that's my only effect symbol. Yeah, so that's been my symbol setup for quite a while. I've got all DW9000 stands, DW5000, actually DW9000 pedals as well. Um, the only exception to that is this one, which I'm trying to get rid of. It's a Pacific stand. I need to buy one more damn DW stand to, to be done with this, but she works fine for now. And uh, yeah, I've had these stands for years. If they're tanks, I've probably had these stands for seven years, seven or eight years. And I have no reason to replace them yet. This is my click setup, and it ends up being like a table for all my shit, like my wallet, my cell phone. Um, some fan brought us these really cool custom uh, engraved phone chargers that I use to, to charge my iPad up. This is just my click setup, nice and simple. I have the whole set list here drum keys, you name it. Um, the guys actually made me a custom guitar pick because they all have their own and they felt bad that I didn't have one. So I just throw them out like Ninja Stars. I have no, no need for it at all, but it just kind of feels cool to have your own pick. I've been with Vic Firth for about three years. I just used the standard wood tip 5Bs and we just updated our logo and stuff um, with the new album. We've got some new artwork and all that, so we just updated that. And uh, being our first headline tour, I'm used to breaking maybe a stick or two a show, and I've, I've been breaking like four a show. So I ordered 60 before this tour, and I'm just about out, so I'm just flying through them. But uh, Big Furs are great, they're so consistent, and uh, they even smell good. Nice fresh wood, polished furniture. The throne I've had since ninth grade it probably smells terrible. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, I replaced the bottom legs here, but this seat I, I bought in like ninth grade when I got my first nice kit. Um, I do want to upgrade it and get the butt kicker going so I get the, you know, it's like a vibrating thing to, so you can feel the kick a little more. But again, I, I kind of keep my stuff. I'm kind of OCD with my gear, so I, I managed to keep all my equipment for a long time. Check us out on tour. We're going to be out for the rest of the next couple months, so 
we're getting ready to head out with the used and hit the festival circuit here starting next week. And then we go out with Shine Down and Godsmack this summer in um, August and September, actually July and August, no, August, September. And uh, check out our new record, Thread, just dropped March 30th and uh, come see a show.